hello and welcome again to my youtube channel where you learn everything about analytics automation and productivity as a data analyst business intelligence analyst data scientist or you know whatsoever your title is as far as you work with data or you are learning you know to become that you know expert in that field i, I want to advise you that you know when you're working on your personal project go beyond just downloading excel file and plugging them to your visualization tool or your you know analytical tool take it a step further you know by importing this data to as simple as microsoft sql server you know database and then work on it the advantage of doing the going this route is that you get familiar with sql server and then sql you'll be able to fine tune your sql skill and that helps you to simulate the scenario in the workplace what you meet there is not going to be a regular exit file that scenario where you will definitely receive a exit file to work on but in most instances for a developed or matured organization you will have this data in you know structured manner in databases like oracle or microsoft sql postgrel and the rest so if you have not been working with that kind of data you won't some of these terms will not be familiar with you okay so in this video i just want to show you an example of how to come across this or how to do this when you're downloading data one of the sites where you can download all this free data for test or for practice is cargo so i'm on cargo now i've logged into my account and you can see a data set you can search on that data set for several data sets that you want to work on you see different ones but i just streamline mine to this particular data and the link to this is in the video description where you can also download same data if you scroll down you see even though the challenge seems to have closed i have not i didn't really it's not even a challenge it's more work with data and update your notebook uh, i'm not even going there but i want to download this data to demonstrate to us how you can you know update it in a database and work with it using sql right now the org train the train one is very huge they not that huge but it's over 380,000 records. That's interesting. Even though the number of columns uh, has been stated there is 25, but it's actually not up to 25. I think we have 12 columns, 10 to 12 columns. Okay, except if it's on other columns or maybe other type of data. All you just have to do is click on click here to download it. I have downloaded this and it's on my PC. This is it. I have this data downloaded, it's right there on my system. The number of columns as you can see if i like the columns you can see 12 columns and for the rows if i press ctrl shift together and my arrow key down you can see the last item on that row which is 382 154 items All right before we import this data into a database take note you might want to rename some of this column so that you know because once they get into database they will inherit this column and the properties you might just want to you know, rename them to your own convention but this is fine i don't have any issue with this in case the data you download have some you know columns maybe language written in chinese or some other languages that you, know, you are not familiar with but you understand the content of the data okay it is also important that we save it because it is in csv format we need to save it in excel and I'm going to tell us more reason why so i'm just going to go straight to my desktop and store this on my desktop select excel when you're selecting excel select 20, 1997 to 2003 the reason being that you know i i don't want to make this technical there are some drivers called odb there's an odbc driver on your system you need to have configured the uh maybe 2016 excel 2016 excel 2010 or advanced excel version but by default the 97, 97 to 2003 is on the system once you have installed your SQL server and you have done the configuration okay so i'm just going to go ahead now and save this on my own you know desktop all right it has been saved and i'm just going to close yes you need to close it i'm right here i'm back to my you know SQL server uh, management studio in case you're wondering how did you come about this uh, the link in the video right there we guide you on how to install Microsoft SQL Server on your system, on your machine, your computer, and how to also download and install the SQL Server Management Studio, which is where I am now. Right, and straightforward, once you have set this up or you have this already set up on your machine, just go ahead and click on connect. 
okay cool so this is the server this is the databases and other you know um, element i only have one database the adventure works 2019 i also have this same you know uh database explained in the video link that is displayed up there how to install your sql server and as well as microsoft server management to do and how to restore adventure work database so that i can set this also up on your system then the goal here is we just don't want to import it into adventure works we know what adventure oh if you don't know what adventure adventure work database is i also have video in my sql playlist that explain the schema the story behind adventure work okay here is for you as a learner or as someone who is practicing to upskill you need to also have your own database this gets you familiar with the whole concept of database yes you are not totally a data engineer but you get to know some of these things and it opens you up to more learnings more new things how do we then create our own database i can just click on this i have to navigate to this database right click on it you will see new database i'll click on it because of the nature of my database or what i want to do with it i'm going to call it practice so this will be practice database for me and so i'll later define some schema for us you see all the data are coming from cargo i can call them cargo dot so so other data from other sources i call them that so that i can know where those data are coming from by default it's going to pick you you know who is signed in as the owner of the database which, which is fine and it's going to also generate right there this is the practice database itself this is the initial size uh the maximum size is unlimited it auto grow you know by several mb as the data you know keeps increasing then it also have a replica of that uh database which is called practice log this store the log files you know all the different log activities within the database i'm just going to go ahead and click on okay this way it executes the queries that needs to you know needed to create a database against the sql server and we are interacting with it right here the database is done this practice wow we have all the elements on that you know that makes up the whole database but our concern is tables if you click on tables there are no tables here at the moment you know all these are just files um system store system where you can then keep having tables under them if i go to five tables here you see there's nothing there yet but if you come to adventure works you click on tables you still see all these files and folder but you see much more than that these are different tables from adventure work okay let's go back to ours it's empty now and that's the essence so that as you are creating more tables this is for yourself all the data you have online you can actually even create them here okay download them in your system and create them here and have them on your local machine wherever you are right click on my practice database and come to task and just come here to import data it's going to present to us a wizard which is very friendly and easy to use click next where is the data source that's the first question the data you want to uh, you know import where is it coming from i'm going to click on this list so that i can select another source my own source is microsoft excel where's the file part it's on my desktop i'm going to click here that is it on my desktop and it's excel remember i saw i saved it as 97 to 2003 file so click on okay automatically it has detected that this 197 to 2003 if you um, select something outside that will tell you that it does not recognize it the first row as color as column names yes so take my first row as the column names for my database then click next great uh, where am i storing this that's the destination the destination of obviously is our secret server uh you know uh yeah, the sequence of our native client has 11 hours what I installed and it's asking, you know, which server name? This is the only server name I have here. Right, so nothing here, you can see practice. When I click down here, it's taking time. Oh, we have Adventure Worker, we have Master, we have Model, we have a few other databases, but uh, the major ones are the Adventure Works and Practice. Others are more or less Master Data um, um, databases okay so i'm done with practice practice what i need to select i don't need to make use of any authentication server authentication in case you are connecting to a server at work or remotely via vpn you can pull those things there i have configured my system so that once i have the server server uh, name that's all for me you can use my window authentication the user to authenticate 
So I'm going to click on next. Do you want to copy data from one or more tables or views? Or write a query to specify the data to transfer. I just want to copy that data. I don't want to write the query myself. So click next. It's saying that, okay, we have identified that table. You want to move everything here, destination from Excel on my desktop to my SQL Server in specific practice database. One thing you also need to note here is you can rename this. So, which I'm going to do. And what would I call mine? I'm going to call it cargo dot ha. So, cargo is the, the, the schema, meaning every time I want to sort, later on you get to know more about the schema, but it helps you to um, segment your information or data by domains. So, I can say cargo is every data coming from cargo. I've called them cargo dot the name of the data, and this is um, org underscore insurance but what is the purpose of this data maybe we can use it to name it it is uh, more or less it's called insurance premium prediction so um yeah maybe cross sell prediction let's call it cross sell prediction okay so in case you want to use it for advanced analytics use cases you can easily do that uh, my wizard is right here okay so cargo i'm going to call this cross sell don't forget you can actually uh inch ins mini insurance cross sell insurance cross sell yeah should we put prediction no need insurance cross sell good so i'm okay i've been able to specify my schema and the name of the table now good so i'm gonna click on next in case you want to do mappings i'm not doing any mapping because i don't have the columns created already so this time i'm just going to create the column as, as it's loading the data so there's no need to map maybe you go here and you do not go there so click on next do i want to run this immediately or you know i want to save a ssis package ssi means a sql server integration service is also um, something that we can always talk about later i plan to cover all this in this sql you know a beginner track on my youtube channel so do well to follow and um, keep tab then I'm just going to click on finish. I'm, I'm, I'm okay here. Right here, you can literally click on finish. But let's see what is on the next page. Okay, it's just saying click finish to, uh, to, to perform this activity. I'm going to click on finish. And right here is loading all the necessary thing, executing the necessary query, importing my data. Can you see the speed? Wow. Okay, I see that only 65,535 rows were transferred so why do we have this information i think i have over 300 and something thousand data sets okay so why do we have this let's check the report view report um so validating sources executing yep so it actually gives us no reason why it is just 65,000 that can be imported but let me close this and just proceed. Let's assume our data has 65,000 records. Another interesting use case for this is how can we then use Power Automate to load the additional data into this database, which is possible. So let's refresh first so that we can see the table. Just going to, um, okay, just come to the, come up here and refresh. So I'll refresh now if I come to table. If I come to tables, you can see we have the cargo dot ins cross cell. Fantastic. Now, because it's still within this database, so all I have to do to write a query, if I right click and say select top 1000, it immediately, you know, put the query that will select F, uh, top 1000 and all the columns there. And come on, this is database. And these are the information that same Excel file right now. You can the next question okay, how do I then connect to this with my you know um, Power BI or with my Tableau, you know, or whatsoever analytical tool you are using, or even with your Python? Yes, you can actually do this. All right, so yes, we do not have every possible uh columns because we have, I mean, every possible rules we have about 65,000. How do I even know? 
select how do i know the total number i can say i can just count i can count the star I just put star sorry see from where's my this my database that is it there cargo you know that's it cargo dot this so if i select this it's going to count every row that's the implication here so when i click on execute So it's saying 65,535, that's actually the volume we were able to spool out with. Later diagnose and see and check out why we couldn't move everything. Uh, of course, it, um, I'm going to do a cover out video on this as well. But I believe you have learned something. Make this a regular practice. There are a lot of things you're going to learn, like the issue we come across now, I'm going to debug it to understand why. And because I didn't prepare for this, I just want to go straight in the video and um, get it done. I will have debugged this together on this video, but I don't want to, you know, take the time because of the length of the video. Thank you, and I believe you will find this useful. Do pass comment, you know, in the comment section, engage in the comment section, tell us about, you know, what are, what are you going to do next with this? Uh, will you keep doing it? Do you want to learn more about SQL? You know, encourage others as well. Thank you, and bye for now.